What's going on guys, Jermaine Francois here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. This video is all about PPVs and how to essentially make sure they do convert, right? Because I don't know about you guys, or don't know if you are here as a creator or as an agency and you're sending out a whole bunch of PPVs and maybe only a few of them are converted, right? And there's a few reasons behind that. First few reasons. Number one, if you're just sending mass PPVs, continuously, continuously sending them and rinsing them to your fans. They are just gonna have no connection, right? They're just gonna basically receive a whole bunch of content. And you can imagine your fans are gonna be subscribed to multiple other creators and they're just gonna be hit constant throughout the inbox, right? The best way to get and extract as much sales from your content from those fans is to actually build rapport, right? That is a big thing. Once you start building rapport, speaking to the fans directly and essentially getting to know them on a genuine level, Okay, obviously you don't need to know what the dog's names are, but you actually need to know what they do, what their names are, where they're from, etc., what they do for work. That will just help build rapport. So when you do send that mass PPV, maybe every two days or every every two days or every three days, they are gonna convert, right? Because they know who you are, you've actually shown a bit of an effort, and you know, people always and you see creators say all the time, subscribe to my OnlyFans link to chat. They have on the Instagram bio, they have on Snapchat. Key thing is, uh, imagine you're not actually chatting to them once they do subscribe, and that happens all the time, and I see it all the time in the space. So that is one reason why your PPVs are not converting, because your fans just don't feel any genuine connection to you, um, and I suggest building that rapport. It's just basic sales at the end of the day, and uh, that will just help get those PPVs a lot more conversions. Second reason is that, almost goes back to the first, is that there's just no rapport built there. So what we do is we'll get the model to film like a voice memo on her phone, right? They'll film it on the voice memo section on the phone, something generic that we can send it to absolutely everyone. Just pretty much getting fans to open up the last message that they sent. Because as I said in the first point, these guys, these subscribers are gonna see multiple different, uh, you know, multiple different mass DMs, PPVs in their inbox itself. So you essentially, they could generally be interested in your you know, content for whatever reason, they just miss it, right? And so much going on in the inbox. So when you send them a little bump up as a voice note, that will convert really, really well. For obvious reasons, I can't give you guys the full source of what our models say in the voice notes itself, because I've got to keep some sort of advantage, right? But voice memos really do work really well. They do wonders because um, it's building that again, that rapport between the model and the fan. We will like, we'll basically get our team or my chatters will just use the memo from the phone and press the record button on the, uh, the messaging section and we'll send, send it as a mass message, you know, three to four hours after we've sent the original piece of content, right, or the mass PPV. Convert really, really well, it builds a rapport again, and it's just a super unique way to kind of build that connection between model and fan. Now, guys, the third reason why your PPVs aren't converting is your copy is just shit. If your copy, and I, when I say copy, I mean by the caption or the actual writing it in the message itself. If it's literally, hey, buy this, hey, I'm bending over, hey, I'm doing this, hey, I'm doing that. It's just not gonna convert. You need to really work your way into the message and describe pretty descriptively what it, the content is, what it's gonna make that person feel, and essentially how they're gonna you know, feel after that, or how it's gonna make them blow their load, for instance, right? And that's where copywriting is a genuine skill. Like we've learned copywriting at my agency for multiple you know, other e-commerce brands I've worked with, so it's massively helped us in this niche. So if you can get your copywriting game on point, that is gonna massively help. When I mean by copywriting, I mean by the actual you know, the sales letter. The sales letter in the actual PPVs itself, if you can actually generally sell what the content is, what the content's gonna make that person feel, the benefit of the content's gonna make them feel, the benefit of the content, how it's gonna benefit that individual fan that they're targeting. Okay, so you need to really get real descriptive, really go in with the emojis, and that's gonna massively help get those PPV sales over the line. So just a super quick one for you guys here, right? Um, just thought I'd drop some absolute value bombs for you on this Friday night, um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, so without further ado, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you generally enjoy this type of content, if you're enjoying me documenting the process, documenting what I'm learning as we're scaling the agency um, over the next few weeks and next few months. Drop me a message on Instagram if you're looking to do grow agency. I do a lot of one-to-one uh, -one as well. So if you're interested, my name is Jermaine Francois on Instagram. Just hit me up and we can obviously have a chat there moving forward. But yeah, peace out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this value piece content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.